Hello friends, this video on ecosystem part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will talk about components of ecosystem. This is very important. Now just now I was telling that ecosystem is all about interaction between living and non-living components. So what are these components of ecosystem? Now broadly there are two components of ecosystem. One is the biotic component and the second is the abiotic component. So biotic, the word bio means, bio means life. So the living components are called biotic components and abiotic means non-biotic. That means non-living components. So the non-living components are fall under abiotic components and the living components fall under the biotic component. So now we are going to discuss in detail about the biotic and the abiotic components of ecosystem. So when you talk about an ecosystem, you see a huge variety of living organisms. So forget about the non-living things. The living organisms itself exist in a huge variety, starting from tiny insects to huge animals like elephants or rhinoceros. Uh, to different very different varieties of animals you see you have fishes you have birds you have insects you have human beings so when you talk about the biotic components it talks about all the living components that is all the living organisms whether it is animals plants microorganisms so anything which has life they fall under the category of biotic components so we see a huge variety of biotic components now these biotic components are also further classified based upon their food habit based upon their behavior so we will we will look at that classification a little later now some of the examples of biotic components would be let us take an example of a particular ecosystem let us suppose if i take the example of forest so forest is an ecosystem so inside forest what are the biotic components so what are the biotic components? That is the living organisms which you see inside a forest. You see several animals, birds, insects. So they all form the biotic component of forest ecosystem. Now let us look at the abiotic components. So these are the non-living components. Now what are the non-living things which are present in any ecosystem and which are required by the living components? For example, air, water, soil. So all these things are needed by the living organisms for their survival. So they form the abiotic components of ecosystem. So let us take the same forest ecosystem. So in the forest ecosystem, what are the abiotic components? Soil, water, air. Do you think without any of these, the organisms will be able to survive? No. See, plants are directly dependent on soil, water. Again, animals are also directly dependent on water, air. So these components, the abiotic components play an equally crucial role because without them, the biotic components are not going to exist. So broadly, there are living and non-living components in any ecosystem. So you now here I have given you the example of forest ecosystem. If you want for your own understanding, you think of any other ecosystem. You think of a pond, you think of uh, a grassland, you think of a desert, you think of uh, the artificial ecosystems like the zoo or the aquarium. You will find out that there are certain biotic components and there are certain abiotic components. So both the components are required for an ecosystem to exist. So now we will talk about the biotic components of ecosystem in little more detail. So now here in this section we will look at the further classification of biotic components that is we will see that how further the living organisms have been classified into different groups based on their different food habits. So the living organisms, that is the biotic components, are classified into three groups based on how they derive their food from environment. So let us quickly see what are these three groups. These are producers, consumers and decomposers. So broadly these are the three groups into which the different living organisms have been categorized into. So here we have the producers and here we have the consumers and these are the decomposers. Now what do we mean by each of them? Producers, those who produce food. So they are the ones, the green plants are the ones who produce food. Consumers, those who consume it. So it, it has been prepared by somebody else and somebody else is eating it. So that is called consumer. Like 
you can just take an example what happens at your home now one person in the house prepares food so let us consider that your mother prepares food so she is the producer because she is preparing the food in your house now all those who consume it maybe the family members they are the consumers so in a very similar way here also the plants are the producers and other animals are consumers and decomposers those who help in decomposition of organic matter when a plant or an animal or any other living organism die so that decomposition part is taken care by the decomposers now we will discuss them in detail so let us quickly start with producers so producers are those organisms which prepare their own food now just now i gave you example of your mom let us let us say your mom prepares your food at your home now do you think that in reality your mom is a producer she is not because even though we think that she is preparing food in the kitchen but the raw material which she is using what are they now she needs either some vegetables to prepare food or she needs some other living organism maybe a fish or a meat to prepare food now what are these they are again some other living organism so basically all human beings are dependent on other organisms for their food so we either eat plants or we eat other animals so that means we do not prepare our own food we are dependent on other animals for our food so we fall in the consumer category then who are producers those organisms which prepare their food independently that is without depending on other living organisms they can prepare their food so producers are actually the green plants so if you see green plants prepare their food how do they prepare their food they prepare these green plants prepare their food by a process called photosynthesis what is photosynthesis photo means light synthesis means to synthesize something or to prepare something so it is a process in which green plants prepare their own food in presence of sunlight so how do they prepare their food they utilize carbon dioxide and water and in presence of sunlight they prepare food in the form of glucose and oxygen is emitted in the process so this is how the process of photosynthesis takes place and it needs sunlight so it takes place in presence of sunlight and it cannot happen without the pigment called chlorophyll and due to the presence of the pigment chlorophyll the plants are green in color so this is how green plants prepare their own food so if you look at the process of photosynthesis they do not depend on any other living organism for photosynthesis to take place so examples of producers are green plants blue green algae so even blue green algae or cyanobacteria whatever you call them so blue green algae are also known as cyanobacteria so they also contain the pigment chlorophyll and that is why they are also capable of performing photosynthesis so these are producers thank you please visit www.examfeo.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.